Condor shot us both. Evidently, that was the only statement he could make before they took him into the operating room. And the other man, Barber, he's dead? Before he hit the ground, Mr. Atwood. You should add that it was a remarkable shot, a half inch above his flak jacket. I thought this guy was... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Was Condor qualified with a handgun? Two years military service, Signal Corps. Telephone lineman, long line, switchboard maintenance, six months overseas. Separated 961, worked at Bell Labs, communication research college on the GI Bill. The question was, Mr. Higgins, is he qualified with a handgun? No handgun, sir. M1 rifle and carbine. Evidently, it was sheer luck. Or else... Yes? Or else what, Mr. Higgins? This Condor isn't the man his file says he is. Then where did he learn evasive moves? He reads. He reads. What the hell does that mean? It means, sir, that he reads everything. But I don't understand. Yes. Very good. Has operations got anything? Absolutely nothing, sir. Extraordinary. It's very well executed. Which requires planning, communications, tracks. I'm not asking for footprints, for a blade of grass, a broken twig, something disturbed. Yes, sir. Wick seems to be all we've got. Where do we have him? We don't. They rushed him to Governor Emergency before we got word. Maybe we should leak the name of the hospital, try to get Condor to make his move. Of course, Lem. Don't expect too many mistakes from this man. Crawley does seem rather more interesting than just another of our reader researchers. For example, has he gone to business for himself? Has he turned around? Does someone operate him? Sexual, broke, vulnerable? Could he be a soldier of fortune? Did he arrange the hit?